Hi Virgo, welcome to Willow Oak. I am here to do your reading for the month of July. Okay, so let's get some oracle cards. And this is a general reading, so please only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. And you might check your other placements for a more complete picture, or if this does not resonate with you. You have beaver spirit. Lay a solid foundation. Okay. Let's go on and... See what we get for your overall energy. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Beautiful. You have the will of fortune. That is a wonderful, wonderful energy. That means a fortunate new beginning is coming your way. Mm -hmm. And that you're going to be laying a solid foundation. So it looks awesome. Very, very stable and wonderful. Mm -hmm. And... You have loyal heart. And that could be saying a variety of things. It could be saying that the potential exists, that somebody could come into your life who has a loyal heart. Or it could be that you have a loyal heart. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some tarot and see what they have to say. Okay? Your energy is beautiful. It's a brand new beginning. This is one of the very best cards in a deck. It's the beginning of the fool's journey. And here you have a new beginning that's a fortunate new beginning. Okay. So let's see what your challenge or potential is. Okay. It's a learning energy. The Page of Swords, this is where you are learning to think clearly and communicate clearly and authentically. And it could be potentially kind of like an aha moment, you know, an epiphany, a light bulb moment, right? Okay. And your focus, your inner emotions... Huh, beautiful. The Knight of Cups, all about the love. This is a slow-moving energy, and it's one where he wears his heart on his sleeve. It's all about the love, everything, and beauty, art, poetry, music. So all things beautiful filled with love. That's what's on your mind. What a wonderful, wonderful emotion to have. Okay. And in your recent past, you have two. You have where your ships were coming in. And what this says is don't just wait for your ships to come in. Go out and get them. And here you have a broken heart. Something has hurt your heart in the recent past. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's see what your strength is. Oh, we had one fall out. <laughs> Beautiful. You could not ask for a better energy. Your strength is the sun. And with this card, everything flows to you. You know, you still... Go forward and take action, but the strength that you have is where what you want flows in. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. The near future. 
Let's see what that has in store. <laughs> can't, can't take that many cards. The near future. What is the near future for Virgo? Bound and determined to have more than one card. Your near future is the same as this right here. The Wheel of Fortune. So it's absolutely beautiful. And you have the Hermit. So it's talking about you going within. Using your intuition and wisdom to find your enlightenment which is bringing in this will of fortune energy okay now advice on how to go forward king of cups Okay, beautiful. The King of Cups is very trustworthy. And to me, his superpower is that he feels all of his emotions, but he does not allow them to control him. He controls his emotions. And when I see this, I immediately go up to here, right? So use the King of Cups superpower to help with this. Because he feels his emotions, but he refuses to let them control him. He doesn't let that balance tip, right? And this is definitely unbalanced. This is temporary. But your advice on how to go forward is to be in control of your emotions. But now this also does say that there's a possibility that a beautiful, strong relationship of the romantic kind could be coming in and now here's what you need to know that you are going to be very happy and content with your abundance you don't see this yet but this is coming in okay I'll move these down a little so they kind of there we go okay Whoa, okay. Now what you do see is that you and everybody that you love are going to be very happy and content with your life. And at the bottom of the deck from taking that, you have victory. So you are going to be victorious. Absolutely beautiful. All right. Let's see what the possible outcome is. Another wonderful energy. You have the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles has a few different things that I think um, are really important. She loves her career. And she's quite lucrative. She loves her home life. It's filled with joy. And she has found a way to balance them both. So, with the Queen of Pentacles, you get a happy career. One that's lucrative. A happy family and balance absolutely beautiful energies here okay is there even anything yes there is i was gonna say is there anything to take a clarifying card for your recent past i'm gonna have to shuffle these over here This is a beautiful reading. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your recent past. You had two cards. Your ships are coming in and it's saying, don't just stand there, go out and help yourself. And then here it says, your heart is broken. So it doesn't say what caused this, but it does say the outcome. And that is celebration. And this type of celebration is like 11-11. It's 
oftentimes about weddings, graduations, you know, official type celebrations. But what this says to me is you're getting out of this energy for sure. And you're going to celebrate. Beautiful. Okay, let's get one more card for the loyal heart. And you have two. Okay, you have justice, which says that if anybody wronged you at any point, that justice is here to make things right. And it's also saying balance. So this was very unbalanced. And this is bringing in the balance. And you have the Queen of Wands, which is a wonderful energy. So this is saying that you are very enthusiastic, ambitious, confident, and you go for what you want. Okay? So I see this big connection with these two right here. These two groups. Yeah. Justice is taking care of this issue, which is making you feel like you can go forward and you want to go forward with your life, which is bringing in a celebration and balance. The loyal heart might very well be the loyal heart to yourself. Mm -hmm. And at the bottom of the deck from taking that card, you have the world, which means you are successfully completing this. Okay? Which is beautiful because here you're bringing in the Wheel of Fortune twice. And your very first card is the Fool. So you're starting on this wonderful journey. And here it says, be playful, have fun, enjoy the process. And you're bringing in love, learning, epiphanies. And your strength is the sun. I mean, absolutely awesome, right? And the outcome is going to be a wonderful career, lucrative, wonderful home, and balance. Beautiful, beautiful July. Okay, let's get a card from the Angel Answers. See what they would like to share. So yeah, uh, whatever's been going on that's been hurting your heart, you're having a successful completion of that. It's over, and you're celebrating. Mm -hmm. And laying your solid foundation. Okay. Ask your angels. So if you have any questions at all, about anything, ask your angels, and they will be here to help you. But look at your strength. I mean, that's you can't get any better. Okay, let's see what the universe would like to share. Very fast, positive, moving energy coming right in at you. Beautiful. Okay. Here you have the Three of Wands, which you had in the recent past. Only, I really feel like this is a whole different one. Mm -hmm. This is the past. I feel like this could be related to the past. But I get a feeling that it's about this, right? Your ships are coming in. So don't just stand there and wait. Go forward and help them. Help lay that solid foundation and bring in that will of fortune and start on your fool's journey. Maybe it's about both. That could very well be. Ooh.
Okay. Knight of Wands. Okay, the Knight of Wands, wonderful energy again. The Knight of Wands has a goal, and they are a fast-moving energy. And this is a very fast-moving energy. And this is going for their passion. Okay, that's their goal. So you want to go for your passion, and you want to do it quickly. And here, you know, you're waiting for your ships to come in. And it's saying, go help yourself. And apparently, quickly, and follow your passion. Okay? You have a beautiful, beautiful July. And now, mind you, um, energy being what it is, you know, it could be a little before, a little after. Oh, okay. This has not come out in quite a while. We have the stethoscope. And what this is saying is periodically throughout the month, check in on yourself. Make for sure you're on the path that you wanted to be on, okay? It's, you know, like going to the doctor to check your heartbeat, right? Just make sure everything is going as it should. So it's the same kind of thing. Check in on your progress or how life is and make for sure things are going as you have wanted them to go. And if you've gotten off course just a little, then just gently put yourself back on course, okay? But yeah, this looks like an absolutely beautiful reading. You have the Wheel of Fortune twice. You have the Fool. Your strength is the sun, so what you want is going to flow into you, right? And your outcome, beautiful career, beautiful home life, and balance. It's wonderful. So thank you so much. I hope this helps. And if you like this reading, please give it a like, share, subscribe, leave comments. It's uh, really appreciated and really does help the channel to grow. And I appreciate that. And I also personally appreciate knowing if this has helped. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful July. Much love. Bye.